Hi, in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to connect your IDS keypad. This is the curved keypad. Most of the keypads connect in the same manner. So I'm gonna connect this keypad to the IDS X64 alarm panel. Right, starting with the keypad, I need to open it up in order to wire it. To open this, you can see there's a clip system here. So what I do is I take my flat screwdriver, I insert it there, watch the angle, I just do that. Please do not jam the screwdriver far into the uh, keypad, otherwise you will damage the circuit board. So I'll just demonstrate that again. Right, so I take my screwdriver here, I gently press it. You can see that only the tip is inside there, and now look at that, it just clips out and I can open the back. If you want to close it, you just do the opposite thing. So you can see that I clip that first, and then I depress this side like that. Right, now, so I want to open it quickly. There is the keypad, and all I need to do is now get my comms cable, which is going to be a, a minimum of a four wire. You will see there are six connectors here. Now, the ones for the keypad to connect to the main board are these four, D minus, D plus, ground, and 12 volts. So we only need to use the four out of the six. Now, in order to connect the keypad to the panel, we need to use the D minus over here, the D plus over here, and then the positive and negative. This positive and negative over here is actually the same as this positive and this negative over here. It's just giving you the option of connecting directly over here. If you run out of space, you can use the positive and negative over there. It's the same rail. Anyway, I will show you how to connect the keypad now. Now you can use wire strippers, and I'm just going to remove a little bit of the jacket here. Now for the keypad, you only need four cores. So I'm going to now separate these. I only need the red for positive, the black for negative, and I just need two more for the data plus and the data minus for that bus. Right, so in this case, I'm going to use these four wires. Red is going to be my positive, black is going to be my negative, green is going to be my data minus, and white is going to be my data plus. I do not need these additional wires over here. Now this happens to be an eight core wire. So these four over here, you could use it for other things. Maybe you want to have another sensor on the way. But in this case, I only needed four wires. So all I'm going to do now is remove about eight millimeters of the jacket and then expose the copper. Now I'm going to open this side over here. And this side I've made a bit longer because it's going to be by the main board. So I need the red, green and white, and the black. Right, now I prefer to wire the keypad first. Reason being is if you start here and the panel is energized, you might find that you are shorting out the leads while you are doing your cabling or while you're doing your connections. All right, so there you can see the connections. 12 volt red, ground black, D plus white, D minus green. Right, now the wire run depends on the placement of this keypad. For example, if your keypad is going to be placed like this and the wire is going to come out from underneath, well then you will feed the wire over there. If you want your wire to come out the side, sometimes that's easier, then what you'll do is you will use your side cutters and then you'll, you'll cut away one of these tabs here. So say for example, you see there, I've cut away there. And now I can place my cable. I like to give it a bit of slack, but remember you're closing it from the bottom first, and then you are going to clip like that. Right, now all I need to do is connect these wires to the main board. Right, so it's D minus, D plus, negative, positive. Right, the keypad is now connected and it needs to be registered. In order to register it, you press the hash button. Yeah. Right, so there you can see the keypad is now connected to the alarm. It wants the date and time set. You can see it says panic alarm. Right, so the keypad is now connected. Now you can configure your alarm system. You can connect several keypads. How you connect them, you just double up on those ports there. So that means that if you have another keypad, you'll have two sets of wires on the D minus, two sets of wires on the D plus, and then obviously the positive and negative. If you've got three keypads, well then again, you'll have three of everything. Right, thanks for watching and cheers.